Evening, an 84-year-old grandfather has woken from his coma after he was bashed and left for dead outside his East Cannington home. Emiliano Lombardi's children are worried he won't recover his independence but are grateful for a huge show of support from Perth strangers. They spoke exclusively to reporter Cayman Gock. These images of Emiliano Lombardi bloodied and beaten on his bed shocked our city. And a week on, the 84-year-old's condition is still confronting. But there is some good news. I had a wish the other day that I said I wish that he could just wake up and tell us off, which I never thought I would say, and he actually did that. <laughs> The Cannington grandfather is now out of an induced coma and out of intensive care after he was bashed in a senseless attack outside his Henry Street home. And now his family is sharing its story after an overwhelming show of support from the people of Perth. We've all got our dad. We all know our dads a, a little bit um, their own way. They live their life their way. And it hit home because it could be anyone. Tradies are repainting and plastering his home. Local businesses offering new furniture and bedding. Suddenly we get this um, flood of emotion and support from everybody um, who want to tell us that the world is good, want to tell us Perth is good, and it is. But it will be an enormous struggle for Emiliano Lombardi to recover from the attack. I don't want him to be fearful. He's got a nice community and... Um, yeah, we are fearful of he's going to lose that. The grandfather lived by himself and was a keen gardener, proud of his homegrown organic fruit and vegetables. This is his love, is his garden, and his love is to give it to others. And that's why the random attack in which he was beaten with a ute's mirror is so hard to understand. Quade Carson Jones is now behind bars, facing a string of serious charges over the rampage on August 16. One story that hasn't been told is that of two police officers who may have saved the grandfather's life. The stoic 84-year-old went to bed after the assault and tried to sleep it off. His children say if they hadn't repeatedly knocked on his front door, he may have never woken up. If it wasn't for those two and being persistent that, the, that my father was safe, he wouldn't be here today. There's they are good in this community. Uh, it's just a few little percentage of people that have lost their way and... Um, but the majority of people are always there for you and um, do the right thing and it's a good to see. His children have a simple message to the city that's rallied behind them. Yeah. Thank you and he's, and he's getting there. Emiliano Lombardi is tonight in the state trauma unit here at Royal Perth Hospital. His children say he's still coming to terms with what happened and is understandably anxious to leave, but the 84-year-old could remain in hospital for some time. What happens next is still unclear, but tonight, Michael, there is reason for hope. Such a brave family. Cayman, thank you.